So here we are once again with some more Football Manager 2021 and another part in our FM21 Euro 2020 Challenge. Today we take on the challenge of Finland in Group B and uh, you can have a little look at the squad that we've gone for there. Uh, some actually really good players, of course, Timu Pukki is probably the, uh, the most famous, Tim Sparv, Glenn Kamara. Uh, all very, very uh, good quality players. Lucas uh, Haradaki uh, from Bayer Leverkusen, uh, very, very good player as well. So, yeah, looking forward to this one. Group B, of course, is Russia, Belgium and Denmark. Um, obviously, Belgium we're not looking to get any points from, but we could potentially get some points from Denmark uh, and Russia, and hopefully we can get through to the last 16 no webcam today i am recording this quite late at night so um you know i don't want to set up the green screen and all of that so uh we're, we're just sticking with this uh, normal episode so uh, here is the team that i've gone for and once again we're going for the 424 because we want to make the most of the fact that we've got three quality strikers in the squad so we've got uh Herodaki in goal with alho uh val valshanen and Vaishanen uh, and Uronen in defence. We've then got Spav and Kamara in the midfield with Lod and Fours starting wide of Pucky and Poyan Palo up top. So let's get into it then. It's going to be an interesting match, I think, this one against Russia. It certainly is going to dictate what's going to happen in the group for us. You feel like we very much need to get a result here. And, uh, well, hopefully we will. Well, here we go. This is uh, Russia coming at us here. Golovin on the ball. Gets it forward to Mario Fernandez now. Mar still going. Fernandez into the middle. Haradaki with the save. Now here's uh, Poyan Palo on the ball. Lod. Can we get them on the counter here? Poyan Palo to Pucky to Lod. Lod to Pucky. Pucky forward. Poyan Palo with the chance. But that's just wide. Um of the mark as, as it hits the goalkeeper Uron in gets it in it's a header and it's off the post so two big chances for us in the space of about a minute there will we get a better one who knows oh it's a bad tackle from Sparv there and he's going to be sent off the captain double yellow card and he's off straight away here so unfortunately we're going to have to bring off uh, Poyan Palo I think and uh, potentially switcheroo some of our players lots gonna have to come back uh, potentially yeah I think Fours is gonna have to come back as well it's it's too important to not recognize that we need to you know get something out of this game at the very least we can't just go out there and and hope for the best, like we probably would in a knockout game. But uh, anyway, here's Golovin to Zerkov now. Zerkov forward. Golovin. Miranchuk. Miranchuk still gets it forward. Miranchuk scores. Well, that is a bit of a disaster. And Russia, a 1-0 up. Sparv sent off. And that, well, you just can't believe it. Uh, Miranchuk, I mean, what a run. And Well, hang on, there's two Miranchuks for for Russia. That's uh, cheating a little bit, isn't it? Alexei and uh, Anton, I wonder if they're related. Who knows? Who knows? Let me know down in the comments section if you do. Well, Zerkov gets it to Miranchuk now to Golovin. Zerkov, Zerkov still going, gets it in. Oh, it's cleared away. And now here's Pucky, and hopefully with his pace he can keep going. Go on, Pucky. Oh, it's side net, and that's disappointing because that was a good chance. He broke away from the defence, but couldn't quite pull it off. Here's Golovin. Golovin on the ball. Gets it wide to Mario Fernandez to Z Z Z Zobnin. It's away. Now here's Pucky. Pucky's still on the ball. Great skill. Can he run onto it? No, he can't. Lunev gets it away. Zerkov to Deviv or Deviev. Here's Lunev gets it forward. Can we get the header on it? No, we can't. And it's going to be another player sent off. 
Oh, Alo is off and we're down to nine men here with Finland. Oh, what a disaster. I mean, you just can't believe this, can you? We're going to have to have a three-man midfield. Uh, hope for the best with that. Well, here's uh, Golovin gets it to Smolov now. Yeah, it's wide of the post. Not great from Smolov. Well, it finishes 1-0, and I think considering we were down to nine men, we'll take that, and hopefully we can have an improved performance against Denmark, but already we're up against it in the group. Well, the second match gets underway. This time we are playing Belgium. Pretty much an unchanged lineup. The only guy coming in is Thomas Lamb at right back, and hopefully that'll sure us up a little bit. Here he is now, Lamb on the ball, gets it to... Uh, Lord to Kamara. Now here's Pucky. Pucky on the ball. Gets it to Lamb. Lamb now. What can he do with it? Can we go 1-0 up against Belgium? That's the question. Lamb. Here's Sparv. Sparv forward to Lamb again. Lamb gets it in. Lord. Hmm. That was half a chance there. And we didn't take, take it. Courtois. Boots it forward. Lukaku heads it on. Now here's De Bruyne. Witzel forward to Hazard now. Hazard on the ball. It's into the middle. It's Kamara away. away. Here's uh, De Bruyne now to Castagne on the ball. And Hazard's there. And it's 1-0 to Belgium. And straight away, we're 1-0 down. And we desperately need to get something out of this match, if possible. Tielemans to Castagne on the ball. Hazard makes it 2-0. And within 10 minutes, we're virtually out of the competition here. This is not good at all, and if you have a look at the table, Denmark beat Belgium, or Denmark beat Russia, sorry, uh, in the earlier match. So, I think this would confirm us being out, pretty much. Here's Vertonghen to Hazard, Vertonghen again. De Bruyne, Witzel forward, Lukaku's there. Oh my word, it bounces around the penalty area. But we get away with it for now. Booked free kick. Thorgan Hazard with the free kick. And oh, how's that not gone in? Well, we've managed to get it away. But only just. And now we're on the counter attack. Here's Lord on the ball. Can he get forward to Pucky? No, he can't. He's got to go alone. And he doesn't manage to find a good pass. That was so close. Yet so far for Belgium. Got into the middle and it's in. Deny it with the, the header. And we're 3-0 down before half-time. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any way we're going to be get, able to get through here, to be quite honest. De Bruyne to Witzel, and, well, that looked like it could have been a penalty. Not quite. Here's Kamara now. Can we make it 3-1? Kamara still going 3 against 1 here. What a save by Courtois, though. It's a corner. You running in in the middle. Here he is again. You run in. Now to Poyen Palo to you run in. Oh, it's in. Poyen Palo scores. It's 3 1 now. And 20 minutes to go here. Potentially, we could get back into this. Let's see what sort of players we can stick onto the field to try and turn this match around. Here's Kevin De Bruyne. Is he going to go for a free kick special? No, he gets it off to Mertens and Tielemans was there. And it is a great save, but it is a corner for the Belgians. Mertens, what's he going to do with it? He whips it in. It's away by Spav. Now he has Soiri on the ball. Soiri pushing forward. This is a great run from Soiri. And is that a penalty? No, it's not. Well... A penalty there, and we would have been back in the match. Here's Soiri. Can we get a late goal here to put Belgium under pressure? I don't think so. Mertens, here's uh, Juren in, though. Schuler still on the ball to Soiri now. He's been great since he's come on. He's still got a good run on him. And there you go, it is 3-2. Can we put them under pressure for... 30 more seconds here. Su Suri definitely 
Uh, looking very, very good. Very good pace through that defence. We're going to need him on against Denmark. But it is full time. And, uh, well, Belgium beat us by three goals to two. Maybe those two goals do flatter us a little bit. But it gives us a little bit of hope going towards the Denmark match. If we beat them, potentially we could be one of the lucky losers. The final group game is underway now. And we have got Soiri on the pitch. He's uh, on the right-hand side. So hopefully he can do some damage. We'll, we'll see how he gets on. But uh, here's Lamb to Spav. Gets it in straight away. And uh, yeah, as I say, if we do win this, potentially we could be one of the lucky losers. But uh, it is going to be an impressive performance if we do beat Denmark. But uh, here we go. Once again, Mele to uh, Delaney. Delaney and Hoiberg with a... With a chance, and it's a great save by the goalkeeper there. And here's uh, Christian Eriksen. Great to see that he's doing well. He's been discharged from hospital now. And after the awful scenes that happened in this actual match, it's it's great to see Eriksen playing football again. But here's uh, Delaney now to Dolberg. Brathwaite, and it's a great save from... The goalkeeper, and we do seem much more up for this. I know it is a, a bit of a derby match, this one. Denmark versus Finland. But this has looked pretty good so far. Here's Mela to Brathwaite. Oh, and it's a good tackle. Now, Kier to Olsen. Olsen, come on, get the tackle in, boys. Vass outside, into the middle. Delaney, oh, it's off the line twice. Here's Pucky. Come on, Thomas Pucky. Pushing forward, great ball, Poy and Palo. Well, here's Spav to Soiri. Soiri on the ball, can he run forward with it? He's still going, great ball out wide to Uranen now. Uranen with a shot, and that's what dragged well wide. That's a big disappointment. Sprays it out wide to Miller now. Brathwaite, Brathwaite to Dolberg to Delaney. Good uh, interception by Uranen, falls away. Uh, Christensen manages to head it down, here's Olsen. Olsen to Delaney, but Soiri cuts it out. What a player he has been. Poy and Palo now on the ball. What a chip. But Schmeichel was there on the line, ready to receive it. And at half time, it's nil nil. Can we turn this around in the second half? Herodaki gets it forward. Headed down by Merle. Now Dolberg. Here's Eriksson. Eriksson gets it forward. Now Merle, Hoiberg, oh, it's off the line again, and now Fors on the ball, and we're on the counter-attack, here's Fors to Spav, out wide to Urinen now, Urinen on the ball, gets it forward to Poyen Palo, is he offside, I don't think so, Poyen Palo, he scores, it's in, I thought that was offside, I honestly thought that was offside, <laughs> hence the delayed reaction, but Poy and Palo has put us 1-0 up here. I can't believe this second ball wasn't offside. Um, but it wasn't. You can see two defenders keeping him on. And what a finish that is from Poy and Palo. And we are 1-0 up against Denmark. But as it stands, we're still fourth at the moment. We need to we need to score another goal here to hopefully go above Denmark. Schmeichel boots it clear. Yes. Uh, Vasellen now to Vass. Vass gets it forward. Olsen. Ugh. Don't want them to score. Oh, it's in. Yusuf Paulson has scored, and I think that might be that. I don't see us scoring another two goals in this match. Mm, bit of a disaster, really. He has uh, Urin in now to Poy and Palo. Mm, no, that was a chance. 70 minutes gone now. Great tackle. Here's Vasenin. Here's uh, Toivo. Ashalko. Poy and Palo to Fours now. Fours on the ball. Gets it in. Oh, I thought Pookie was going to be there to score his first goal of the tournament. Urin and now to Soiri. Soiri gets it forward. Fours is there. Fours with the goal. And it's 2 1. Well, we've got 10 minutes left, and I think if we were to score a second goal here, 
I think it would be enough to go through. So absolutely huge moments in this match now. Is there anybody that we feel like we need to take off? I'm not sure. Haradaki forward. Pucky's there, but couldn't get his head on it. Here's Ericsson. Now Sisto. Can we get the tackle in? Good tackle, Lamb. Now here's Merla. Go on, Lamb. Again, brilliant. But it's into the middle. Oh, it's over the bar by Olsen. We've got 10 minutes. Come on. Here's Lamb. Now Pukki. Pukki on the ball into the middle. It's away by Vass. Here's Sparv, though. It's away again. Now here's Paulson. And once again, Denmark on the attack. There's big gaps over the other side of the area, but it's away. He has fours now. Fours pushing forward. Gets it forward to Thomas Pukki. And well... A Premier League striker missing the goal like that. And Paulson, well, no, it was Vestergaard. That's made it 2-2. Puggy has potentially just thrown away our chance to get through there. But we might as well stay with the action now. Right to the bitter end. Lamb away. Here's Puggy. Gets it to Poy and Palo, but loses out. Olsen into the middle, but uh, Hasalki's there. Oh, sorry, H Hideki gets it forward. Hedda, Christensen now, Eriksson, and now here's Sisto. Sisto, oh, it's a good save. Paulson, Olsen, and there you go. Denmark go 3-2 up, and that is it. All over now. Wow, what a shame. What a shame. But it was the first match that cost us, to be honest. Going down to nine men definitely was not a good idea. Pucky's going to score this time, isn't he? No pressure on it that time. And he did score. But unless we can go and score another two, it's in vain. And there you go, full time. And Finland are out of the competition. And it is a huge shame for us. Yeah. And, uh, well, Russia went and beat Belgium anyway. So I don't think there'd have been any way for us to get through. So that is that. We're, we're out of the competition. Out in the group stage. So that is a big disappointment for Finland. Let's see who goes on. To win the competition and then of course we'll spin the wheel of fortune well would you believe it denmark got all the way to the final in the end uh losing two nil in extra time to to france and uh, no disgrace in that and you know we were we were better than uh than denmark for a lot of it but uh, never mind let's find out who we are going to be Taken charge of next time out on the Wheel of Fortune. So here we go. We'll give it a big old spin and hope for the best. Who are we going to get? Ah, Czech, Czech Republic. That is going to be a tough one. And of course, tomorrow, uh, with it being uh, England versus the Czech Republic, we're going to hope that we, we do badly with them as to not attempt fate. But that is where we're going to leave it today. It was a failure at this time out. But, hey, the, these things happen. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll hopefully do better with Czech Republic. How did they do this time around? Uh, group D, isn't it? Uh, oh, they were bottom. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, that is that, that's interesting. That is definitely interesting. But look at all the, the, the third place people that are going through. Um, I mean, Scotland go out on four points because of their goal difference, negative one goal difference. I mean, Denmark, very, very fortunate that they go through in the end. Uh, we wouldn't have went through with our three points, so I guess not to feel too too sad about it anyway but uh, anyway if you've enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for more fm content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye